Hello YouTube, this is a video on that car 2 quad machine I built. No, it has not been sold just yet, but it will be very, very soon. And it will be sold as a fully working, or fully functional Hackintosh, actually. Which is very nice. Let's turn around again. With an incredibly loud gain word, GeForce 9800 GT. I've successfully installed OS X Mavericks 10.9.5 on it. Works like a charm. There's only one thing that doesn't work, and that's the DVD drive, but that's uh, that's not a deal breaker, I guess. I mean, optical media is pretty much uh, dead these days, so... It's dead to me, because I only get my uh, movies and all that good stuff uh, directly streamed or downloaded, so... A lot of stuff that I always used to watch on DVD and VHS is already uh, either digitized or it has, you know, been ripped and placed on a server somewhere, so... I really don't need the, uh, uh, the optical media anymore. And as you can see, it boots pretty quickly. By the way, this thing uses my original drive from my Mac Pro. Which is actually very funny, because it actually has an, an Apple... A certified hard drive, ain't it? And, uh, yeah. Well, there we go. OS 10 Mavericks desktop. 2.4 GHz quad core Intel Xeon, it says. Well, it's, it's actually a Core 2 quad Q6600 running at 3 GHz at the moment. And the overclock is fully stable in OS 10. The 9800 GT wouldn't work at first, but it just required a graphics enabler and a PCR root ID set to 1. And that caused it to work just fine. At least after the installation. Before the installation I just had to type uh, safe mode and NVIDIA disable. Or NV underscore disable equals 1. So, you know, some small workarounds to get uh, to get it to boot properly. And then I just had to install uh, null CPU power, ma power. <laughs> null CPU power management. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty much... Uh, a walk in the park using multi beast so for easy setups like this I prefer not to use my hack because this thing can work without uh, you know some very specific hacks it's all just generic hacks that make this thing work so but yeah the biggest hassle was to get sound to work because this thing uses some sort of obscure uh, real tech chipset that uh, isn't all that very isn't all that common. It's from the early Blu-ray days because it's certified for Blu-rays. It's one of the first ones to do so, and it's really uh, it requires a DSDT as well as the text from MultiBeast for it to work. So I found one for uh, revision 2.1 of this motherboard. So it's not really the specific one for this 1.0 revision of the DS3R P35 board. But nevertheless, it works just fine. It's, it's very responsive. Everything works on it. And it's pretty darn quick as well, with this uh, quad-core CPU. It of course has gigabit ethernet, so browsing the web is uh, very fast as well. Performance isn't lackluster at all. Let's try the uh, infamous Big Buck Bunny 1080p clip. This one is only 720, okay. 1080 P. God damn it, that's 720p. Okay, it won't let me go higher than 720, I guess. Absolutely gorgeous. The one thing I haven't actually run just yet is the hardware monitor application, which didn't get installed apparently. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's run that while I read it. And let's see here. 
probably need a driver section. Yeah, there we go. FEC SMC, the hardware plugins, and the hardware monitor replication. Because I do want to, you know, keep an eye on my temps here. Oh, I thought I failed there, but apparently didn't. But yeah. Why did I pick Mavericks over Yosemite? Well, Yosemite is a bitch when it comes to Hackintoshing. Pretty much the easiest Hackintosh operating system there's, that's out there is, well, Mountain Lion. Well, officially it would be Snow Leopard, but on modern hardware it's, it's pretty much uh, Mountain Lion or Mavericks. Hardware like this could run Snow Leopard just fine because it's from that era. It's pretty much 2007-2008-ish in terms of parts. And, uh, yeah, that should work just fine. The fan noise is a lot more tolerable when it's actually booted up. I really don't know why that fan um, was forced in firmware to run at 40%. But yeah, it does, so what you gonna do about it? Nothing at all. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that the DVD drive will never work, but... Oh well. You know what? I'm gonna let this finish, we'll do a reboot and we'll see what the temperatures are in OS X and see how they compare to Windows so we know if it's actually uh, sort of an efficient upgrade as well. Or maybe we'll be able to use the hardware model replication without rebooting. Let's take a look. There we go, hardware monitor. Okay, no kernel panic just yet. It only sees hard drive temperature for now, it seems. 36 degrees. Oh, that's very nice, actually. But yeah, I'm going to do a reboot, and I'll be right back. Okay then, we're back. And we've got a whole list of information now. The CPU proximity is about 34 degrees, and all the cores are, well, 24, 27, 26. Wow, it's, it's very chilly. And trust me, it's not all that cold in here. It's, well, approximately, I should say, well, room temperature, 21, 24, uh, somewhere between 21, 24 degrees. It says that the motherboard is 126 degrees. That's, of course, bullcrap, but... GPU is also very, very cool, in fact, and the CPU is only running 1.6 gigahertz, for that matter. So speed step is doing its job. And the CPU fan is also just uh, not very loud at all. The biggest problem in this thing is just the uh, the GPU fan. If you were to shut that thing up a bit, I'll take care of that in just a little bit. Do not try this at home because I'm putting a block on the fan, and I'll listen to it. That's pretty much just a power supply in the case fan and CPU fan. That's perfectly tolerable. But, uh, you know, this isn't all that bad. And yeah, remember that the CPU is overclocked at the moment, at 3 GHz, so. And it works perfectly in OS X. So yeah, that is my Core 2 Quad Hackintosh using a Gigabyte GAP35 DS3R motherboard with a Core 2 Quad Q6600 running at 3 GHz and a Gainward GeForce 9800GT 512MB video card with 6 gigs of RAM installed on a, uh, on a Western Digital 320 gig drive, so all generic stuff when it comes to that, but yeah, successful hack and Josh. Yay. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.